um, that I started letting people into this little world of mine. And it's a, a whole lot different than catastrophe. So when I do my poetry, they address me as queen. Because I'm very conscious with what I have to say, and I get real deep and personal. So just share this moment with me. I got a monster in my closet, or rather I had one. And this is speaking of domestic violence, which so many people um, in the world have already been through or, you know, lost somebody possibly, you know what I'm saying, because of. So I'm going to talk about this monster in my closet. There's a monster in my closet, and sometimes under my bed. It's as if he's getting stronger from my thoughts of being scared. He would twist and turn, confused, manipulate my mind. He bite and pinch and bruise me till my reflection wasn't mine. My friends would say, to them I've changed. What happened to my smile? Inside I cried as if I died, tearful and fearful of his growl. There's a monster under my in my closet and sometimes under my bed. And I am terribly terrified and I'm getting even more scared. He'd force himself upon me as if I owed him something. Ruthless, enraged, a psychopath, and I was being hunted. This monster in my closet, he warns me not to tell. And even though he hurt me so, I stay trapped beneath his spell. I would cover my scars and wear a mask, falsifying who I've become. Disconnection from my feelings stripped my spirit, made me numb. This monster in my closet, and even sometimes under my bed, won't be satisfied till I've lied, broken, speechless, and I'm dead. There's a monster in my closet. <laughs> you know, it's, a it's a true story, too. You know, true story. And so I take on that because I'm finna share even more with you in my rap way, um, my life, my story, because that's part of my life and my story dealing with boogie monsters in my closet. Okay, so now we're gonna go further and y'all can get to know me. I'm gonna open up, so DJ Word with that. Can I get that beat? Yeah, yeah, but the name. You see, just like me, other people, mm -hmm. my life ain't always been so good. She was pushed and happy. But I've learned to take everything in life that's tried to break me and made by the model of what don't kill me. And when you make me stronger, you never lie about the past or the years down which I've been thrown in the past. Wouldn't change it even if I had three wishes so I could have your best of love to know the meaningful kiss is not if my life had been the only But it's not only that I've ever had I'm just so tired I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm such a professional So I like to freak me out Can we start that back? Here we go Woo, sorry Brandon Let's go again On that I don't know why that happened? I come with crispy CDs, DJ Word. I know, I know, I got you. Okay, I'm sweating now. You made me nervous. Uh, you're good, Mom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It ain't, it ain't over. You ready? Yeah, I might need this stand because I'm finna get real heavy with this. I ain't tearing up equipment. Testing one, two. One, two. I'm ready. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. But the day. You see. Just like me, other people. Mm -hmm. My life ain't always been so good. She was pushed and happy. And I've learned to take everything in life that's tried to break me. You made by the model of what don't kill me. Only you make me stronger. 
who you are as a person? Okay, to be honest, this is one of the toughest questions for me because I actually, all I can remember is doing music since I came out the womb. Like, um, from poetry to dance and anything that had music, I mean, you couldn't stop me. And I've been performing since I was big enough to get up and work it out. So, probably about four years old, I've been putting on shows. And I didn't get real heavy with the whole rap thing until I hit about 14. Just mastered that, you know what I'm saying? And here I am today. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks to my mom. Probably gonna let you perform your next track. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. So we're about to get into some of that conscious stuff that I was talking about, and I got some more people's in the building. Shout out to the five percent. I see you out here, Woo God. Um, so I'm gonna tell you about this here poem, and I say we ask why, which is one of the most common questions asked, okay, by the deaf, dumb, and blind. Not literally, but figuratively, because you can't see the truth, can't hear the truth, nor understand it, no matter how you give it. Okay, so, we live life, file and trife, like the knowledge indeed. Had the nerve to give birth, miseducating our seeds. For fear that the master, he'd come and take them away. So now, Willie Lynch syndrome hit it this day. And they say, only way to get back on the path is to touch historic bases, take us back to the past. Free at last, depending on your knowledge of free. Cause your mind is now blind, you've been able to see. To be is to exist, and yes, I'm here in the flesh. I ain't beginning to scratch the surface, got some shit on my chest. Accepting the less, but tell me what's the justice in that? In heaven I be the first, I can't wait on the first. I'm better than worse, and so today I sat on the throne.